Good morning, my name is Lavinia Brown. I am a transition coach for mums. I help them to feel more calm, confident and in control of their lives. This vlog is for PNP Coaching and it's to celebrate Work-Life Balance Week. So what I wanted to look at today is work-life balance and how instead of thinking that we need to balance the two equally, we can actually microdose pockets of self-care on the fly. So we can learn to self-care throughout the day, whether it's work or life or parenting, and in that way, stay a lot more balanced throughout the day, whatever that part of the day looks like to us. So, as I said, I think it's much harder for parents to find that crucial equilibrium between work and life because life for us is often taken over by our kids or our partner running the household doing the laundry doing all of the extra chores that we have to do in addition to our work so often we get back from work and life's meant to start but actually it's chores that's when we become the housekeeper the conflict mediator the homework, nagger, all of these other roles that we have to take on at life. And often the bit that's concerned with us, our me time, gets totally squeezed into when the kids are in bed. And usually that's us trying to cram two, two hours full of everything that we wanted to do. And that's really difficult. So what I thought we could look at is ways of microdosing. So thinking of ways that we can feel more calm and insert me time throughout the day, whether it's your work day, whether it's commuting to work, whether it's getting the kids ready for school and out the house, whether it's commuting back from work or getting kids supper on, homework done, all of that kind of thing. And we can microdose in three ways. So my favorite three ways of doing this are through taking down our stress levels just a couple of notches. It's not about suddenly sitting down, getting your yoga mat out, shutting the door, telling everyone that you can't be disturbed and meditating for half an hour. That's not feasible in most people's lives. So it's about taking down that overwhelm a couple of notches. So not necessarily going from overwhelm to Zen Buddha, but taking it down a couple of notches. And my favorite way to do this is through taking a mind holiday. So taking a mind holiday is exactly that. It's going on holiday with your mind. So your mind doesn't know the difference between reality and visualization. So if you can take yourself to that happy place, wherever that is, and really be there with all of your senses, smell what there is to smell maybe you're eating an ice cream maybe you're on the beach can you feel the sun on your on your skin take all your senses there do it for as little time or as long as you can but even one minute of going on holiday with your mind will give you the benefits of actually having done it so taking a mind holiday secondly nature now obviously this is easier to do at home because you're probably more surrounded by nature than you are at work. But maybe you can take a little plant into work. Maybe you can keep looking out of the window at a tree that you can see far away. Maybe you can stop on your commute on the way home, take a small detour, two minutes out, spend some time with some trees. Anything that takes you in uh, closer to nature, even if it's just looking at a tree from your desk, or looking at a plant on your desk will calm your nervous system down. The Japanese have a word for this, it's called forest bathing. And it really helps to calm down your nervous system, calm down the adrenals, and give you a sense of perspective. So nature. And thirdly, being really present to whatever it is that you're doing. Presence comes from tapping into our body, coming out of our mind. Focusing on your senses, your sight, your hearing. I find that one particularly helpful. What can you hear right now? Really going into that sense and becoming present to the moment out of your mental melodrama. This helps you find joy in whatever it is that you're doing. Joy doesn't come from the thing that we're doing. It comes from within and it comes from presence 
whilst we're doing something. So however tedious the chore, washing up, whatever it is, hanging the laundry, if you do it with absolute presence by focusing on your senses, this can really help you get a sense of joy. So hopefully that was helpful, microdosing your way through the day so that we can get pockets of me time on the fly, whether you're at work or doing life or being a parent. Hope that helps.